Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet. Spreadsheet refers to a software capable of performing calculations between data presented in large tables. The intersection of a row and a table column is called a cell. You can set up relationships between cells and view the results of formulas and functions that operate on the entered data. The results will update automatically if the data is changed. Through Excel you can also generate charts, presenting information in an easily understandable and engaging way. Furthermore, it is possible to use Excel as a database, performing searches on and filtering the data in the tables, in addition to ordering data according to the criteria set by the user. Compared to other Office applications, a spreadsheet is more difficult to describe by making comparisons. A word processor can easily be described as an evolution of the typewriter. A program like PowerPoint can be referred to as an evolution of slide projection. The spreadsheet, on the other hand, is an abstract category that could not exist without the computer. We could compare it to a squared sheet where, however, the contents of the squares can change automatically if the data upon which a number depends varies. The first spreadsheet was called VisiCalc and was created in 1978 by Dan Bricklin, a Harvard student. VisiCalc ran on the Apple II computer and was among the main causes for the commercial success of that system and the growth of the home computing phenomenon. The first version of VisiCalc provided for the management of a single sheet, composed of a maximum of five columns and 20 rows, for a total of 100 cells. Today we can manage an infinite number of sheets, each consisting of 1,048,576 rows for 16,384 columns. It follows that each sheet can contain as many as 17,179,869,184 cells. In Excel, files metaphorically represent workbooks in which one or more sheets can be contained. Within each sheet, the area is divided into cells, which are identified by their coordinates, for example A1, B5, H7. To open Microsoft Excel, you can double-click on the program icon or double-click on one of the files associated with the program, such as .xls and .xlsx files. The Excel icon is also found in the Start menu. When the program opens, once a loading box with the title of the software comes into view, an initial screen appears, from which you can choose whether to create a new workbook view a tutorial, use a template, or open one of the workbooks on which you have recently worked. By clicking on New, you can choose to create a new workbook based on one of the templates provided. A useful tip. After clicking on the Start menu, you can start writing the name of the program to search for it without having to manually scroll through all the icons. Furthermore, if you frequently open a program, it will appear among the most used applications at the top of the Start menu. Once inside Excel, you can open a document by using the File menu and selecting Open, or alternatively, with the key combination Ctrl plus F12, or Command plus O if you are using a Mac. Through the menu, you can go back to the desired file. In the PC version, Upon selecting Open from the main menu, there is a Recover Unsaved Workbooks command at the bottom of Recent Files, which can be useful to recover lost files in event of the forced closure of the program or a system lock. To close Excel, you can use the X in the upper right corner or right-click on the workbook title and select Close. Alternatively, you can use the key combination Alt plus F4 or on a Mac Command plus Q or Command plus W. By selecting the file menu and the close command, the folder you are working on will close but Excel will remain open. The Excel screen 
as well as the other Microsoft Office applications, is divided into various sections. The title bar at the top displays the name of the workbook you are working on and the application. The quick access bar to the left of the title bar shows the most frequently used commands, such as save, undo and redo. Below is the ribbon, which contains most of the commands available to the user. The ribbon is divided into tabs, each in turn made up of groups, containing the icons of the various tools and options. The most commonly used commands are marked by a larger icon. If objects, for example images or graphics, are selected, contextual tabs will appear containing the options of the selected object. Below, we find a box showing the active cell and the formula bar, which displays the contents of the selected cell. At the bottom of the screen is the status bar, which has the automatic calculation area on its right side. By selecting some cells, we will immediately see in that area the result of simple functions applied to those cells. We will be able to instantly display the result of functions like sum, average, count, max, min. The functions displayed can be modified by clicking on the status bar with the right mouse button. On the right, we find useful icons to adjust the type of display and the zoom set.